it is very important for prostate problem patients to understand anatomy of the, the bladder kidneys and also prostate and urethra because these are all mechanical structures right if they, there is a mechanical obstruction so you have to know much about that so that you can have better understanding about your disease so basically prostate is a walnut shaped gland it is located just below uh, the urinary bladder within the pelvis the important structure that passes through the middle of the gland is urethra where your urine is coming out the pipe from which the bladder is co communicating to external through this urethra so this is a small pipe it is a straw like structure which is coming out from urethra and this causes the urine to come out of the bladder this first part of this uh, our tube we call it as a prostate urethra in the place of prostate urethra prostate is surrounding this urethra or the urethra is coming passing through this gland so that uh, any damage to the gland or any inflammation in the gland or any pathology in the gland is going to obstruct the urinary passage and also you have to know there are two kidneys on left and right side from kidneys the urine is collected and it goes into two tubes that is uh, uh, ureters from ureters that uh, <coughs> urine reaches the bladder from bladder uh, the urine is stored in the bladder and after some time when you, when the bladder is full you, you are forced to urinate through the urethra and one more important structure you have to remember in the bladder is bladder is a muscular organ so these muscles will contract so that your urine is pushed out from the urethra so this is very important structure you have to understand because the further pathology is going to depend on this so and coming to physiology hypothalamus senses the amount of testosterone in the blood and it re releases luteinizing hormone releasing hormone this luteinizing hormone releasing hormone from th hypothalamus reaches the anterior pituitary through hypothalamo pituitary portal system once this luteinizing hormone releasing hormone reaches the anterior pituitary anterior pituitary releases luteinizing hormone this luteinizing hormone go and acts on uh, uh, testis in uh, and adrenal cortex and this produces testosterone this testosterone is converted into dihydrotestosterone with the help of 5 alpha reductase enzyme this enzyme is present in prostate gland so the enzyme 5 alpha reductase which is present in prostate gland converts testosterone into dihydrotestosterone and this dihydrotestosterone is much powerful than regular testosterone so and this causes the prostate gland to enlarge Okay, this is very important for you to remember. So this dihydrotestosterone which is present in prostate gland converts testosterone into dihydrotestosterone and this dihydrotestosterone is responsible for enlargement of the prostate gland. And coming to the functions of the prostate gland. So why do we need prostate gland in our body? What is the importance of prostate gland? So basically prostate gland secretes uh, some fluids. This fluids is mixed with seminal fluid and See, normally the secretions in vagina or the secretions which are coming from the testis are acidic in nature. So these sperms cannot survive in acidic environment. For the sperms to survive, there should be some buffer and it should be alkaline. This alkaline environment is provided to the uh, sperms against the uh, acidic environment in a female vagina and in the testicular uh, secretions of a man. So this fluid or this seminal fluid is responsible for maintaining alkalinity and it, this uh, ensure that the sperms are motile and also it helps in the clotting of the sperm once the uh, semen is deposited in female uh, vagina this prostatic fluid helps for the sperms to attach itself to the cervix after some time once they are attached to the cervix after some time the clot get dissolves and the sperms become free swimming and they swim towards the fallopian tubules for fertilization and this helps in lysis of this clot and also this prostatic fluid contains enzymes nutrients hormones and all the chemicals required for the sperm to survive and ensure that it has good fertilization capacity 